What is up guys, Jarv here and it's time again for another weekly reset in Destiny 2. It's September 24th so this is the final reset ahead of the launch of Shadowkeep and the season of Undying next week. So the wait is nearly over guys but for this week in game we have double infamy all week and triple infamy returning this weekend as well. So if you're chasing Dredgen and you need one or two resets then this is the week for you. Otherwise we have the rest of the reset to cover We'll be covering all the rewards, activities, and everything else to break down for the week. So with that all being said, let's jump into the rest of the video. So looking at our director here, then we can see that all our challenges for the week have reset. And the flashpoint for the week is over on Mars. So we have powerful gear and uh, there should be heroic adventures here, which will drop more powerful gear and all that good stuff. Uh, while we're on Mars as well, we'll talk about escalation protocol over here. Now this week, it is the sniper rifle, Damkath the mask is the boss this week. So if you're hunting for the sniper rifle and need to complete your collection for Wayfarer, for example, then make sure to head on over and give it a go this week. So we head on over to the Nessa's barge. We have Werner 9940 and the inventory here has reset as well. So here we have a few consumables for the week. We have the wealth of the Emperor and Roofinder if you need those. The bounties for this week though are here. We have Benevolence where we have to collect Orbs of Light. Trial by Combat for completing daily Crucible bounties. The Emperor's Embrace for defeating enemies with precision final blows. And then Reverted Treasures for decrypting free Prime Engrams. Those are weekly bounties and you get a powerful gear for each one of those. So they're really worth doing. And then we have the gear... One raid gear? Yes, year one raid gear. And the weapon for the week is inaugural address. Outlaw kill clip. So you have to complete the Leviathan within this weekly reset and have enough tokens in order to purchase it. But it's definitely a good one to get if you haven't got it already. So if we head on over to the annex at the tower, you have Benedict9940, his little cousin. Again, you have a few consumables here, same as over at Werner. Uh, the bounties here, though, again, exactly the same. But the inventory here is... Uh, oh, actually. These are the same. These are normally entirely different. Well, if there's any bits of gear that you guys need, then be sure to visit either of them um, and collect either or of the armor pieces or weapon should you need them. Okay, moving on. So if we take a little look at Menagerie for this week. So we have Arc Singe as the burn for this week with the modifiers of Blackout and Grenadier. And these will rotate on a daily basis. And then here you have the two difficulties. With the heroic version, you also have Famine. And that is actually Solar Singe with Extinguish and Grenadier currently. So definitely worth doing if you can get a good team together. Because again, more powerful loot. And on the subject of Menagerie, at this week's Friday reset, you will actually get an additional reward for the final week of the season. So you'll get five rewards for every time you complete Menagerie. So if you're grinding out any weapons or armor for good rolls for Shadowkeep, then definitely head on over and take advantage of that. If we have a little look at the Reckoning then. So the Reckoning is very popular at the moment. Again, this will grant additional powerful rewards. Arc Singe, again, is the burn for the week with Heavyweight as a modifier. So if you've got Anarchy and you want to farm the Reckoning, it's definitely worth doing. There are three tiers. Tier 1 and Tier 2 are pretty good if you're doing mod farming. And Tier 2 and 3 are generally good if you're doing weapons and things like that. So you should be able to go after your spare rations again this week with that now being in rotation. So if we have a look at Hawthorne's weekly raid bounties. So we have the Strength of Memory. We also have the All for One and One for All and the total victory, which is for the Crown of Sorrows. Now, Banshee44, he's also worth visiting whilst you're at the tower. And it's definitely worth picking up his bounties. These will grant mod components and enhancement cores and random mods, which will all be very useful come Shadowkeep. And if you're still making sure you've got the right mods in your inventory, because these are going to be unlockables from Shadowkeep on in the next season, make sure to come here and grab any that you need to make sure that you have them unlocked going into the new DLC. So let's take a look at the Vanguard for this week. So we have the daily heroic mission stories over here. Again, Ark is the burn of the week with Blackout and Grenadier being a popular set of modifiers for this week, it seems. And these are the five missions 
for today. If there aren't any that take your fancy, these do rotate again every 24 hours. But again, if you complete five of those, then you get a, oh, three of those, sorry. You get a powerful reward. It's definitely worth doing. Strikes, Vanguard Strikes again. We have Blackout and Grenadier alongside Arc Singe. So again, you need to complete at least one strike for a powerful reward. And then by using the same subclass element as the currently active elemental burn, which is arc, you will also get another powerful reward, which is three strikes in total will get you two powerful drops. So definitely worth checking out. If we take a look at the nightfalls for the week then, so we have the insight terminus. So this grants the long goodbye sniper rifle. We have the inverted spire with the trichromatic ghost shell and then the will of a thousands which has the worm god incarnation which is a transmat effect so if you're after any of those or you want to farm any of those the nightfall is a farmable activity for any of those rewards should you need them so definitely jump in if you like and the penultimate area for the week is crucible so we have a quick play rumble private matches and competitive so your normal weekly playlists and the featured one for the week is mayhem so if you like having a bit of fun and want to be that guy with tractor cannon or colony because uh, sold it last week then jump in and five games will grant you a powerful drop so another person worth visiting over at the tower is tess everest she has an inventory full of sweet loot so you, if you have any silver left worth spending then you can come here and grab any of the seasonal rewards for silver should you need them um, you have the archive here, so you can also go back and purchase things from earlier seasons if you didn't manage to pick them up for any exotics and things like that. So if we have a look at the bright dust items for this week, guys, so we have the But You Emote, which just looks a bit like that. So if you need it, come grab it. We have the Bales Aerodyne Ship, which looks like this. It's a bit of a, f looks like a fly, but there you go. If you need it, it's there. The Intrepid Exploit Grease for the Titan. The ornament for the Geomag stabilizers, which looks pretty sweet. I've just picked that up myself. Uh, the lonesome ornament for the sidearm in Reckoning, if you've got any good rolls worth keeping on that. And then we also have the sparrow here, which is very bright and very pink. And then we have the projection as well. And here you've got your shaders, any transmat effects, and all your consumables and all that good stuff. So that wraps up the inventory for Tess for the week. And the last place we're going to visit this week, guys, is the Dreaming City. So the curse has reset and the Shattered Throne is no longer available. Now, the Ascendant Challenge for the week is the Four Fight Shrine. You'll find this in the Garden of Asilla, just over here. If you pop your Trinket of Queen's Foil, we'll head on over and you'll be able to complete your Ascendant Challenge. So you'll be able to get those eggs and Amonkara bones if you need them. Also, some powerful loot as well. So there we have it, guys. That's going to wrap up the weekly reset for week commencing the 24th of September. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps us out here on the Planet Destiny channel. And if you're new around here, and want to keep up to date with all the latest Shadow Keep content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well for us. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, but I will catch you guys again very soon. Peace.